Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green! Today we're gonna make our way along Route 24. We've already covered all the new Pokemon here so there's really not much to do other than to just make our way along the route. Um, there are items and trainers here. We get TM45 of Attract. Attract is basically a move that is what our abilities do. Um, down here is a patch of grass that's pretty convenient for catching Abra's in. Um, if you want to catch one, that is. It's not a bad Pokemon to have. Teleport is basically a free escape rope. I'm going to, uh, fight this trainer. Probably off screen, I don't know yet. Saw so your feet from the grass. I mean, I'm in the grass, my man. Yeah, let's do it on screen. Camper Shane. He's a rat. Rat. Um. Let's kick his rat. Kicked. Yeah. Mega Kick is a really good move when it connects. It just needs to connect. That's the problem. I'm also thinking the Ekans last episode might have had Intimidate and I just didn't notice. I'm gonna switch to Clefairy. Because I really just don't want Jigglypuff getting poisoned again. Clefairy can get poisoned. It's just... I don't want... I don't want Jigglypuff getting poisoned again. She's been poisoned enough. She doesn't need poisoned again. Punched. The one thing I dislike about the Mega moves is just their accuracy. Like, Mega Punch would have been fine with 100 accuracy. It, it just would have been. Here we are on Route 25, which has effectively the same encounters as the previous route, so... And also a lot of trainers on it. Over right here we have a Pekka Berry. So... It's basically like a maze to get through these trainers, so... Let's get down from Mount Moon, but still got some gas in the tank. Well, we'll see about that, my guy. Hacker Franklin! Sends out my chop! So, this is a job for Ivysaur, um... Because that is a fighting type. Our team does have a pretty sizable weakness to fighting. That weakness isn't exactly going anywhere, <laughs> but we also have some walls against fighting, so I'm fine with that. And a Geodude. Yeah, we may as well just stay in and go for Razor Leaf. It's super effective. Worked hard. Did I, though? Now, you can get around this encounter by doing that. Um, I forget if this guy ever turns to the side. Um, you can never get around this girl, so let's do this battle. This will be a required one, so... Hi, my boyfriend is cool! Quite a way to start a conversation. Just, hi, did you hear my boyfriend's really cool? It's like, I don't care. Like, I'm sorry, I just... I don't care. Now. Your Nidoran male is now infatuated with my Jigglypuff. You don't see my Jigglypuff going around. Hey, my boyfriend's pretty cool. He poisoned me. Um... Okay. You ran female. I'm already poisoned. I'll just make a kick. And I missed. Uh, can I take another scratch? Probably, but I don't want to risk it. It's kind of the thing. Like, I just, I don't want to 
I don't want to risk things if I don't have to. And like, I can just come in and tackle a few times. This will take a bit longer, but, you know. I am actually really looking forward to level 19 on Jigglypuff, because there is actually a synergy that you gain access to at level 19. Yeah, I'm gonna Leech Seed, get my little bit of HP back. And I kind of want to show off that synergy, but I need the move first, and I get a critical. Of course I do. We defeated Kelsey. My conditioning isn't the best. I'm also pretty sure I have no antidotes left. No, no I have one antidote. What I do, however, have very few of is potions. Now, we want to fight this trainer as far south as we can. Treat this as a required battle, because I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Up to the Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Alright, man, that's where I'm headed to. And since they're the Geodude. Um... I could probably brute force my way through this, but it's really not worth it. Especially when I can just do this. And get a critical hit. Razor Leaf is pretty cool. And another Geodude to just Razor Leaf. It is a little sad to say, but we've kind of learned almost our best grass move that we're gonna learn. Um, in this generation, there, we, we do still have access to um, Giga Drain, but Giga Drain is only five extra power and has so much less PP that I kind of prefer Razor Leaf. Hiker Knob. He's such a knob. Now, we step over like this. That pulls that trainer down. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Hey, so do I. I'm a cool guy, too. So don't rat it But are you a cool guy enough to have your girlfriend pick your team for you? I mean... Beat that. Like... You can't. And Ekans. Um, let's swap to Clefairy. Which, I might actually see if I can teach Clefairy a move after this. That'll be a pretty good move to have. Wait, I don't have that TM yet. I'll get it soon. I'm getting ahead of myself. Probably be like next episode. But like... Oh, darn. And now we can get up behind him to get this item without needing cut. We get secret power. Secret power is a cool move. Now, some of you may be familiar with the move hidden power. This is not that. This is secret power. It is a 70 power normal type attack that has additional effects based on the terrain. Basically, 
in Generation 3, in buildings or linked battles, it is strength that can inflict paralysis. In paved slash planes, it's slam that can inflict paralysis, basically body slam but 10 less power. In grass, it's needle arm but can poison. In long grass, it's magical leaf that can put to sleep. In caves, it's bite that can flinch. In the sand, it's accuracy lowering by one stage. In rocky terrain, it's confusion. On ponds, it's lowering speed by one stage. On the sea, it's lowering attack by one stage. Underwater, it's lowering defense by one stage. This is a pretty cool move. That I, I'm going to be teaching to Clefairy. I mean, I kind of want to teach it to Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff learns Body Slam. Secret Power is one of probably my favorite moves just ever because of how neat it is. And it's just kind of better than Mega Punch because it's more accurate. I'm going to replace Double Slap though because, well, it'll just always be better than Double Slap. We've attached the disc to its forehead and it now knows how to use Secret Power. The TM is now gone, and that, I believe, is the only TM for Secret Power in the entire game. So if you want another one, get another Game Boy, get a Link Cable, trade. Yeah. Okay, we can get around this trainer. Right here we get an Orin Berry. Up here we get a Bluk Berry. Bluk. My friend has many cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. About to be jealous of me too, because I got a few cuties myself. Like... Though I gotta give, Oddish is pretty cute. But does it Mega Kick? <laughs> oh god damn it. Jigglypuff, why? Now you gotta pound it. Okay, two Oddish might be pushing it. You might, you might be pushing it a little far, girl. Like, one Oddish is cute, two Oddish is a menace. Um, just pounding away. There we go. And Pidgey. Pidgey's not cute at all. Okay, it kind of is. But the fact it's always sand attacking takes away from its cuteness quite considerably. Literally just threw sand in my eyes and then blew wind around everywhere. Like, that's not very cute. It's not very cute at all. I missed. Come here, Clefairy. And secret power! Kind of a waste, but hey, it's guaranteed to hit, basically, so... Not so jealous. Really, now. So it feels like you're still pretty jealous. Here we have Bill's house! Guess he's not home. There's a Clefairy here. Ah yeah, I'm not a Pokemon! No, I'm not! Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Nah. No! Now don't be so cold. Come on, you gotta help out a guy in deep, deep trouble. What do you say, Chief? Please? Okay. Alright. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Hmm. I don't know. It's got a pretty big homework folder here. I think I might check that out first. But now, nah, I'll, I'll do what he needs.
I love how that's basically the sounds of trading. <laughs> yeah! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Yeah, thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. We received the SS ticket from Bill. The SS ticket in the Kiamis packet. The cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. Here, there are a lot of trainers on board, too. They invite me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on, have a good time. Thanks, Bill. I'll do that. We do got some grass here. These are more trainers you can battle. Um, I'm probably going to come back through and battle a lot of these trainers off screen if I feel like I need the levels, but... Right here is basically a shortcut back to town so that you don't have to go through all of that mess all over again. Hey, we can now go in through there, but I don't feel like doing that quite yet. Let's uh, come up here to the Poke Center and let's heal a Pokemon to full health. We could leave Cerulean City right now. But we want to stop and do the gym first. But on top of that, I... Well, no, it's only been like 18 minutes. Uh, let's come do the gym. We have time to do it. I was going to say, I think I'll do it next time, but we have time for the gym. So, let's, uh, make our way through it. It, of course, is a water-type gym. So, you know, Ivysaur. I'm going to see how much that our, uh, normal types can do. This guy's up first. Sir, put some shorts on, please. Uh, let's mega kick. Bobbles! Frickin' bobbles! I missed! I blame the bubbles. Oh god, smoke screen. Thanks, Jigglypuff. The annoying thing about the accuracy of Mega Kick is that if I had just been using Pounds this whole time, I probably would have been just about as far along. Bobbles! Where's Blossom and Buttercup? And Shelder. My accuracy is in the toilet, so let's swap over to, uh, to the fairy. Secret powder is always paralysis in gyms, so. Now, Shelder does have a lot of defense, so. This has, I believe, a 30% chance of paralysis. You know, the same odds as Pokemon getting infatuated. The thing that hasn't happened yet here is me getting paralysis. Well, that's fine. Level 18 and Clefairy. Now, we can skip that trainer over there, but I kind of want to fight her, too. What, you? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Jeez. Mean girl much? And a Goldeen! Um... I'm gonna defense curl. Yeah, it's spurting water everywhere. It's weakening firepower. As if I'd be using a fire move. Pound! I'm almost to the point of being able to do the synergy. I actually... Ow. That hurt. I actually don't know what move I'll replace for the synergy, but... You know...
Okay, um, I'm going to swap to Clefairy. Because that, um, horn attack really hurt. It's 19! And Jigglypuff is trying to learn Rollout! I will make room for Rollout. Um... Ah, uh, the consistency, though. Um, you know, let's get rid of Disable. Now, if you use... Um... God, why is my brain blanking on the move I literally just used? Brain, work with me here. Um, defense curl. That's the move. If you use this, it powers up rollout. Like, no joke. It actually powers up rollout to use defense curl first. It's a, it's a synergy. Um, I am going to go and heal up at the poke center really quick. Because I could kind of use that. Um... Before taking on Misty. Do, 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 do. Well, you probably will see me again at some point. Because that's just the nature of, uh... It's just the nature of Pokemon. You, your Pokemon get hurt. It just happens. Now... Misty is difficult. Hey, you're a new face. One of those trainers who have a policy about po- Who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. It's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon. My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Yeah, and she has a pretty strong all-out offensive going on. Starting with Staryu. This is kind of a scary Pokemon. It's a water-type that actually has offensive power. I missed my Mega Kick. Um, I kind of want to, just to play it safe, switch to Clefairy already. So Staryu is just continuing to raise its defense. Um, you know what? Let's Encore it. This may seem silly, but now it's going to be locked into just using Harden for a while. Which gives me a chance to, uh, probably paralyze it. Maybe. Well, that didn't last very long. Come on, I'd love to get the added effect. Secret power is really letting me down. Uh, let's go for it again. Um, I don't think I can take another water pulse. Ivysaur, get out here. I'm gonna need you for the next one anyway, so... And here's the first instance of a gym leader using an item. So if you want to give me grief for doing it, the gym leaders do it. Um, you may think, ah, this is, you know, pretty easy so far. Starmie! Water Psychic type. Pretty high special attack stat. Nose Confusion. Could have used that and probably one shot Ivysaur. Still has a chance to finish off Ivysaur. Thankfully used Swift instead. Thank you, Misty. Starmie has ended a lot of people's runs. Ah! Uh, or at least sent them back to the Poké Center. Wow, you're too much! Alright! 
You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Got 2100 for winning. Cascade Badge will make all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you get in trades. Some more you can now use Cut anytime, even out, out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM, TM03. Teaches Water Pulse. Use it on aquatic Pokemon. Or I could use it on Clefairy. I'm actually tempted to use it on Clefairy. Because that would give me some coverage towards normal types. Not normal, uh, ground types and rock types. That isn't Ivysaur. So, it also let me cover fire types. Which is something I currently really can't do. So. But yeah, with being healed up. And now having the ability to move on, let's uh, come over to the house we need to go through to move on. And with that, I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Pokemon Leaf Green! See you all then!